Black people in America gonna get respect when we start bouncing going back to Africa. Invest in Come follow me to a secret place where only the moon. We got cribs over there, kids going to school, we're embracing culture from over there. Hey, thank you very much for checking me out. So today is what um 11th of August 2019 and I'm inside Asebu right now. I made a video previously about 5,000 acres of land free for African Americans who want to settle down in Cape Coast or Ghana. And now I'm inside Asebu. So right now I'm at the marketplace. This is the marketplace for Asebu. Now Asebu is one of the um, um, towns in Abra Asebu Kwaman Kese district. It is located inside Central Region, at the south side of Central Region. There are new development going on out there. There has been a new demarcation of land at the other side of the community, which we will go there and try and give you an aerial view of the place. So we are inside the market. This market opens every Saturday, or the main market day is Saturdays, where you have different people, different market people, all around the community. All right, We have some surrounding villages who comes here with their... Uh, um, cassava, cocoyam, and a whole lot of foodstuffs. They come here to sell to the people of Asebu and anybody who comes through. So keep watching, I'll bring you more. Uh, this is so bad once again. Uh, I just want to give a brief history about Asibu, as was told through oral tradition, and some of us also got to hear about it. History tells us that Asibu came about as a result of a great man known as Asibu, Amenfi. And Amenfi, we are told, um, was part of those ancient bodyguards to then Pharaoh in Egypt. And when they were chasing the Israelites across the sea, history tells us that some people were part of those who, were, who succeeded in crossing the Red Sea. So the two of those guys who succeeded and crossed to Africa, history tells us, one is Amenfi and the other one is called Kweja. Fortunately or unfortunately, Kweja settled at Mori and he went into fishing. And Amenfi came to settle here in Asebu and he went into farming. So uh, this is a man who came to meet a forest and decided to clear the area. That is what history tells us. Cleared the area, settled here, and decided to protect his territory, which ranges from uh, the borders of Asan Praso. I don't know if you know Asan Praso. Straight away to the Elmina, where the bridge lies, the Itre Bridge. Mm -hmm. That is, these are where his territories lied. So this is somebody who stood up, fought for his people, and make sure that his people survive. So, to say a little bit about Asebu, it is a community that existed years ago. It is in the central region of Ghana. Uh, for population-wise, I don't want to be specific because 2010 population census of Ghana tells us that Asebu had about 8,000 people by then. So it tells you that uh, from 2010 to 2019, invariably the population has what? increased probably about 10,000 and over and basically the people here are into farming and uh, we have some of them who are also teachers others who are artisans we mean the masons uh, the carpenters uh, the tilers the i mean a lot of them those who are artisans so we have teachers here we have nurses but greater chunk of the population are into farming and like you can see this is the palace of the great chief of Asebu, uh, Nana Dr. Okotechi Amenfi the Servant, His Majesty the Royal Chief of Asebu, Asebu Traditional Area. This is where his palace is. A very nice and beautiful place that I mean, I believe you've enjoyed it yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you.